Oh yeah, when do you reckon you first got a 990? I uh, first started using 990s about 1980, 81, yeah. roughly then. Yeah. I was ripping posts with them, that's when I first started. Ripping posts, Did you, were you using a different saw before you got before you bought one? Yep, before we got those we were using yeah. 051s. Did you get it brand new or did you get second hand? Nah, brand new. The, the bloke I worked for bought two of them brand new. Were they the anti-vibration saws as well or were they just a solid? One was a solid handle one, the first one, and the second one was uh, any vibration. And it had the handle over the top just like the one Straight outside. over the top, yeah. So that was for that was for ripping posts is what you're using for? Yeah, ripping posts. We did all the felling with them too, but yeah, yep. and building and, and ripping at the same time, yeah. Yep. And you were saying that that was using half-inch chains as well? That was originally it? using half-inch chain, yes. Yeah, and then after a while you kind of moved on to 404. Yeah, 404 seemed to be easier to get in a more common chain. Yep. When did you go from just working on... Um, uh, cutting posts to actually falling and cutting in the forestry. Uh, 1982, yeah. we started falling for the mill, sawmill. Yeah. We were only doing private then. Um, I started actually in the forestry probably in about 1985. And were you still using an 090 then or would you have a different saw? Still using 090s. Yeah. All through what the 80s, did you experiment with different saws in between or just use the 090? Yeah, no, I did have some other ones. I, I did have a fairly big home light. Yep. Uh, 750 home light, which yep. is about the same size as an 076. Yep. I had an 076 as well. Yep. Uh, but I did mainly use uh, the A90s yep. most of that time because they were just more powerful and cut yep. through dirt better. Yep. And what sort of what sort of timber was that on? Yeah, varied, but yeah, predominantly spotted gum, um, iron bark, blue gum, and, and and a few other eucalypt species. And, um, and you said in the 85 you went into the forestry, kept using an 090. Was it still the same saw or did you swap out saws as your time went on? Yeah, probably in that period of time I probably used three. Um, as they got a little bit older I, I might rebuild them but then I, I started to buy newer ones and just start again. I keep the old ones for spares but then I just kept using them after that virtually. Yeah, I'd rebuild them a couple of times usually and then just buy a new one. You kept using them all the way through until in the early 90s they said you couldn't use them because they didn't have a chain break and they brought in new rules about that. They did bring that rule in, yeah. I think it was about 93. I had a newer one. I did use that for a fair while. I didn't wear it out, but in the end I had an 84, an 084, yeah. and I started using that and kept the other one just as a spare. Yeah, and after that, because you are in the forestry, you couldn't just go and pick up another 90, so you had to make do with the 84, and then you, um, I think you moved on to an 88 after that. Yeah, that's what happened. We had a few 84s. We had... When the double sixes first come out, those six sixes, yep. we bought one of those just as a smaller saw, just for backup. And then, yeah, we did, they, they started making the 088s, yep. and we went to those, yeah. Well, do you still have your 66? At least one 66? Yeah, still got some 66s, yeah. yeah. And that's the main saw you can use now if you were to go cutting? Yeah, these days now, if we're doing a bit, yeah, we still use the 66. The yeah, and I know this video is about, it was bought, we figured, 10 years ago? Yeah, it would be about 10 years ago. Um, it was just cleaned up when it was bought here. We cleaned yeah. it up and stored it. Yeah, and it sat, you gave it those first few pulls the other day and fired up for the first time in 10 years. Yep, it did. Yep, no problem. A little bit of fuel uh, down the carby just to a kick to start with yep. and then it just ran, no problem at all. Give it a bit more running and make sure that, that chain frees up. Yeah, the chain was rusted. Uh, it, it wasn't an old shed hut, but uh, it did get a bit of moisture on it. Yeah. So 
uh, yeah, we're just trying to loosen it up to yep. free it up so it doesn't bind. You said you wanted to do some ripping with it? Yeah, uh, clean it properly, yep. um, make sure everything's right, tune the saw, it needs a bit of a tuning, um, and then it should be ready to do that, yeah. Yeah, give it a proper sharpen. Yep, sharpen it properly. Take a bit of time to do that probably. It might take a couple of sharpens to get it right. Yeah. And you were saying that the rakers have been taken down a bit more for ripping so that you can't really use it for normal cutting? No, not really for cross cutting because the rakers have been filed down a little bit. Yeah. For originally when we were ripping with it, yeah. yeah. That was that chain was actually from the early eighties. Yeah. And this this one that's out here now is almost identical to probably the first oh no, I know you got to use. It is identical to the first one I used, yeah. Right. Now. Exactly the same.